oftentimes we are faced with tasks that we know have to get done but we might be lacking motivation either to get started or to complete these tasks that's very okay and it's very normal and people have lots of ways of doing things and getting themselves motivated but in this video i wanted to bring you eight different tips that could help to get you started. Now I want to make very clear that by watching this video you aren't actually being productive. You have to actually get started, you have to actually put your hands to work. Productivity is actually achieved when you have a goal or a vision and you put action towards that goal or vision. So unfortunately writing a list of the things you have to do that's not being productive in itself. Getting the things on that list ticked off as you get them done that in itself is productive. There's a saying that goes, the hardest part of a journey is the first step. And I think this really applies to a lot of areas in our daily lives. There are certain little tasks and huge tasks that we have to get done, but we often lack the motivation to even get started. And that is what I'd like to focus on in this video. It's like being at college or at university and you know you have a project that's due. You know what the deadline is and you know it's fast approaching but for some reason you can't get yourself to actually get started. And this speaks to one of the issues I have with motivation. I feel like motivation gives you a very large boost of adrenaline. It gets you started but it doesn't actually sustain your interest or it doesn't actually sustain your energy through a task. I think it's more efficient to form or inculcate a habit of productivity than it is to try and get Get yourself motivated to do things. I think that a habit is long lasting versus motivation that sort of swings up and down as and when. The first step I would say is to have an idea of what the task ahead of you is. If you're in college and you have a dissertation to submit, have an idea of what's required within that dissertation, you know, how many words, how long it's going to take you. Just have a rough idea of what it is you have to get done. The second step would be to have an easy plan that can ease you into getting started with your studies or that project or whatever it might be. So when I have a task, I like to break things down into segments. That way I have some sort of a roadmap and a framework to use which helps me understand how much of the task I've completed and what's left over to get done. The third thing is that sometimes thinking about the deadline ahead of you or the consequence of not completing that task actually scares you into getting started. And I know that mightn't be the most healthy way of getting a task done, but don't forget the end goal is to complete that task. It's to be productive. So if scaring yourself into being productive actually works, then it's a winner. Number four is that you shouldn't wait until things are perfect to get started. And that's something that I've struggled with all through my life. I've always waited for things to be perfect before I get started. But it's in that doing, it's in that getting started that things actually come into place. So don't wait until you have the perfect scenario, the perfect setup, the perfect workspace, the perfect everything to get started you need to actually take baby steps towards achieving your goals number five is to figure out a less daunting approach to a task in front of you if your current plan seems too optimistic or seems too scary figure out a different way to do it so an example would be that if you had six gargantuan books to get through for this semester break that into readings as opposed to focus on, on the number of books and the size of the books that's something that definitely helped me through my university years i thought about things in segments again in different parts as opposed to thinking about things from a holistic perspective because looking at those books would just scare me into thinking I'm not ready to approach this and get on with it. So maybe thinking about things in a different way to your current way of thinking might actually help you get started. Number six is to create some sort of a reward for yourself after every milestone. So once you've created the plan, you know that it might take five different steps or seven different stages to get to the end of your project. Create reward systems for yourself after every step or after every stage. That way you get motivated to move on to the next stage because you know there's a reward waiting at the end of it. It's something I do for myself. So if I had a reading project to get through and I had say 10 readings, I would group these readings into sets of five. So once I've done two readings, I can reward myself with some strawberry 
strawberries and chocolate. When I've done the next two, I can reward myself with 30 minutes of television. The next point would be to get a pep talk from someone you respect or someone who has done the task before. That way you are essentially airing your thoughts or you are expressing your thoughts to someone else and hearing yourself speak about what's been going on in your head and the struggles you're having, it actually helps sometimes. And so that person can give you positive feedback, can give you positive energy, which should help you towards approaching this daunting task. And the final thing I will say is be patient with yourself. Change takes a long time. And people often say that it takes 21 days of doing the same thing repetitively to get into a habit. So it might take a while for you to get productive, but it's a journey. At least you are working towards it. So having watched this video, I hope it's given you the impetus to at least get started on that task that you find daunting. It's now time for you to put away your phone, your tablets, your computer screens and get to work.